Hey guys, Technometry with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to hide apps on your phone with a really quick, simple way, and you can put a restriction on it and can turn them on and off. So it's gonna be like hide and unhide. It's really simple and straightforward and something that might be neat and if you might be using it, whatever the case is. So before we dive into today's video though, if you guys are new to the channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure that like and subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is go into settings. And once you're in settings, we're gonna be using a feature called screen time. So as you can see, screen time by default will be available on the latest iOS. We're running iOS 14, so make sure you're on the latest iOS. So you're gonna go ahead and click on screen time. Once you're on screen time, either you already have it set on or it might not be on for you. So if that's not the case, go ahead and turn it on. And it's gonna kinda tell you what screen time is about and some things you can do with screen time, which a lot of people don't use it, but it's a really hand, handy feature on the iPhone. So we're gonna hit continue. And then here you can select it. So screen time allows you to have like parental control if it's a child's phone versus your phone, but you can do it with your phone. And if you're giving a phone to a child, you can turn off these apps or hide it like we're going to show you guys so this one is going to be we're just going to say our phone here um, and then you'll get to this screen so you're most likely either on it or off the screen so now what you're going to do is you're going to put a passcode on to restrict or hide the apps and to do that you're going to use this option where it says use screen time passcode and it's going to ask you to set a passcode the passcode doesn't have to be your lock screen pass Good. It could be something different, so either use a different one or you can use your lock screen one. For our demo purpose, we're just going to hit 000, zero, zero, zero here, re-enter it again. Of course, you can use a more complex one up to you. And the next time around this is you get this, um, you can actually associate your Apple ID with your screen time password in case you need to recover it or forget it. You can put that in so you can put your iCloud info and password so that if you forget it in the long run, you can reset or you can simply choose not to. You can hit OK here or hit cancel here. And then it's going to say, are you sure? Um, secure way. And then you can just skip it. And now we have a passcode attached with it and the next thing you want to do is go to this option where it says content and privacy restrictions we're going to click on that and then we're going to turn that on and once you turn that on as you can see the passcode it's going to ask for that we set up we're going to put that on and this time we're going to take a look at this so by default a lot of the content and privacy restrictions are allowed as you can see here things like purchasing on the app store you can restrict it um, you can also do apps that are allowed by default these apps are allowed so mail FaceTime camera some of these other features as you can see here all of those are allowed and then content restriction this is the area we're going to focus on so as you can see here if we go to apps here by default all apps are showing and there's also age groups for apps so most apps that you download have a certain restriction. For example, most of the social media apps are gonna be somewhere 12 plus and above. So by default, if you were to limit app restriction based on the age here, let's say you put a four or a nine, it's gonna remove all the social media apps. And by default, most of the more that are not games, right? The smaller games or things that are more crucial and you might want to restrict are going to have an age limit of like at least 17 or 12 or higher so that's why it's this is where the neat part comes in let's say we select four or, or nine doesn't matter and then we go back here and this time we take a look at some of the apps that we had are not going to be here so before we had social media here right Social media is gone, but then there's also entertainment ones that are available. To show you guys that we actually had those, we're going to go back to screen time, this time in content and privacy, and then we're going to click on that. As you can see here, to turn those on, you need to enter the passcode. So if you were to give it to someone or someone who's looking at it, they'll need to enter that passcode again to go ahead and show those apps. And this time we're gonna show you guys what happens when you have like 17 plus. You'll notice in this app now where in the social media, all these apps that you didn't see before are now available here. So now all of our social media apps are there. Some of the other apps that we didn't see before are appearing right now again on this app. So that's pretty neat to hide it. So it's something you can put a passcode and hide it. This is especially helpful if someone 
is looking at your phone or you're showing something on their phone or maybe you're giving it to a child or someone and you want to hide or restrict the use of all of it. Again, each time you go ahead, they're going to have to know the password, of course. They won't know or you're going to only know the password here. And you control that apps here based on what limitation on it. And to check if a certain app would be restricted, you can also go into the App Store, right? So if you go to App Store here, let's say, let's click on Snapchat for a moment here. It's going to sell you the age. So they can see here 12 plus. Most apps have some sort of rating here of the age. So YouTube, for example, it has to be 17 plus. So that's how you determine sort of what you're going to get into. As you can see here, this one, all of these have a certain restriction. So you're going to have to figure that out and kind of play around with it and make sure, you know, hopefully you can hide the apps that you were looking to hide. So hopefully this was helpful. If this video is helpful and you guys found it uh, useful, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.